Hey, welcome to D-Lab, everybody. In this video, we're going to evaluate this RME 4350 receiver and see if it's worth fixing. So currently, I notice that the knob is frozen, which is a common problem with these receivers. But what I need to know before attempting that repair, does this thing even fire up and try to operate? So let's test that first. All right, so we're going to attempt to power up. I have a Variac you can't see but I'm monitoring the voltage and current bringing the radio up slowly I just want to see if we have any audio oh yeah but that is not good audio I'm gonna turn that back down because I don't want to damage the radio what's going on is the main filter cap is more than likely bad so we're gonna pop it open take a look at that and go from there so unfortunately the cabinet does not have a bottom panel to gain access so you have to remove this rear shell and this one is really tight all right I was able to pop her loose and out comes the chassis let's get underside and see what's going on all right, here's the bottom of the RME 4350. It looks pretty good. A little bit dusty, but no signs of past maintenance. There is the bottom of the main filter cap. What I'm going to do is test this with my cap checker. I'm sure it's bad, but I'm not going to replace it with one of these expensive can types. There's plenty of room in here to put standalone caps on a terminal board. Let's test that cap. I got my little peak ESR meter in here. Check this cap. That section's bad. And so is that one, as expected. So if you take a close look at this filter cap, you'll see two legs are tied together and one stands alone. So you really don't need to put in a three section cap. We can get away with two. We just have to select the right value. So I've landed a five position terminal board, center is ground. Now I'm gonna take these leads, transfer them up here and get the caps installed. One word of advice guys, if you're putting in new capacitors, especially standalone, do not connect them to the existing terminals on the old filter cap. All right, there's my new filter caps installed on a terminal board. And we are totally disconnected from the original filter cap. So it's time to power this thing up and see if I get anything out of it which will determine if I'm going to go any further with the repair. And here we go. Power up time. I did do an initial bumping of the power supply using my Variac. Meter just swing to the left, that's good. Look at there. All right, controls obviously need to be cleaned. And I've got the one to one ratio here of the tuning working, but the vernier is locked up. Yeah, okay, Tim, very good. Uh, running the, uh, so I'm listening to 40 meter AM on the RME. Sounds great. The dial is a bit out of calibration. But the important thing is it's working good. Here's the selectivity. That's what we're running here. And uh, just a plain old dipole at 25 feet. I'll pick you up in just a minute. Let me, uh, let me turn on the compression. Hello, one, two, one, two, uh, a little bit of compression, and I don't know if it makes Anyway, the RME is on the road to being back on the air. I'm pretty excited about it. This poor thing sat in storage for many years, and now it's time to put her back on the air. 